Okay, so this is just my standard kind of complaint, handwritten complaint form. Printed, of course, then I hand print it. So I'm just going to show you on this. So with just the two edges, uh, there we go. So it doesn't dig in. So pretty tight there. Okay. Point of the conversation here. Um, front picture looks great. And I'll get to the back last. So to me, it's just the outside of the labeling of the CD. It's just a standard CD and it's got its the way CD's designed, it is holographic just by its design. Okay. The thing that catches my attention is them claiming both the patent and the copyright. And it seemed to me the copyright, because it's actually be, being distributed by uh, Universal Music. I mean, one of them should be uh, under the other company, not both of them under the same labeling company. That doesn't make any sense to me. So we're big music recording. Seems to be copyright code 0100D. But the manufacturer of the CD itself, that, that number is really hard to see. I could see better with the naked eye. Let's see, maybe less light. My screen went idle. Okay, so that's that part. So you can see how much has been written on, how much free space still exists. Now all the scratches, that's from my CD player in the car. I'm assuming the dust on the uh, Dust guard is doing it. It's probably been in it through eh, maybe four, five times, and it's only played like two. But I'm assuming that's everything to do with how old my CD player is. And the dusty conditions I put it in. So yeah, definitely, you know, like three complaints for sure. Because I mean, I'm assuming the label company, this is all primarily what they're doing. They're using a incomplete, a blank. They're labeling it. Um, if they're using a machine to transfer the digital onto it, then uh, they have a partial copyright. The patent shouldn't be under them. They should be under a, 
I would assume, or if I was in her position, I'd be trusting a a bigger agency to hold the patent right and basically be a partnership of a copyright reproduction. So yeah, you, your, your field of work is very complicated. So I'm on the back, you know, it clearly states that songs are written by her and it's got her co-collaborators, I guess you would say. And then it's finished by the producer. See, and uh, I don't know, can I even see that? So that'd be their trademark. Let's see if I can even see and. Can't tell in any real direction what the heck the dot is supposed to be. So apparently they can't label their own trademark, right? Yeah, I totally understand your fight. 